In this video, we are going to take a look at the Windows Photo Viewer, which also allows you to edit the photo. So let's open up this sample photo I have. The icons down the bottom right allow you to zoom in and out of the picture and zoom to fit the screen. To bring it back to the original photo size, press this button. If you would like to view the picture in full screen click the two arrows here. And to go back just press the escape key on your keyboard. Right at the top we have some more icons. The first is to edit the photo. The next is to rotate the picture. And the bin is to delete. The heart adds this photo to your favorites in your gallery here. The next icon is information about the photo including the date when it was taken, the size and where it is located on your computer. If you wish to print the photo click the printer icon and follow the instructions to print. The next icon is OneDrive if you use that to manage and save pictures to the cloud. I won't go into the other options here as we have covered most, so let's go straight into the editing of the photo, which I think you will be most interested in. Click on the edit image icon at the top. To crop the photo you can use the handles on each corner of the picture or top and bottom. Just left click and drag to where you want it. And if you need to straighten the photo you can use this slider at the bottom from left to right. If you need to rotate the picture use these buttons. And to flip the image horizontally and vertically use these. Pressing on free allows you to change the aspect ratio and you can left click and drag the image into position like this. Press done when finished. If you have a scroll wheel on your mouse you can use that to zoom in and out or use the zoom controls at the top left. At the top in the menu let's take a look at adjustment. With this we can change the brightness, contrast and other color options here. The next menu is filter which was predefined color options including black and white. Just press on the one you want. Pressing on the Auto Enhance will adjust things for you automatically. Markup allows you to highlight something in the picture, maybe text. You can also draw on the picture using these options and rub out anything you need to remove. With retouch you can use this to remove a blemish for example on a face picture. Use the size slider to adjust the size you need and put the circle over the area you wish to fix and left click. Use Ctrl and Z on the keyboard if you wish to undo any mistake. Click on Save Options and select if you wish to save a copy or overwrite by clicking on Save. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you found it useful. Please share and subscribe for more.